Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Core Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about template method design pattern. Template method design pattern is also one of the design pattern from Gang of Four design pattern. Template method pattern is a behavioral design pattern. The main intent of this pattern is to define the skeleton of an algorithm in an operation, deferring implementation of some steps to the subclasses. Template method lets subclasses redefine certain steps of an algorithm without changing the structure of the algorithm. So what this template method design pattern tries to do, as the name suggests, it creates a template for an algorithm or part of an algorithm. So if we have a set of processes, out of the processes, few parts can be created as a template and then the subclasses will try to implement those template and give the actual implementation or redefine the implementation without changing the structure of the algorithm. So if we have to take an example, a classic example in a real world scenario would be a pizza making process. In the pizza making process, the process of creating dough or the process of giving the first layer of cheese is same irrespective of it is a pepperoni pizza or a cheese pizza or a vegetable pizza. But after these two steps, the third step can be a template method where based on what kind of pizza is ordered, you will have a different implementation of the top layer or the topping. So for explaining this in a programming, I'm going to talk about an example today of a simple shopping cart which will have a checkout process and checkout process consists of multiple steps out of which one of the step will be a template method which will be overridden by classes to give their own implementation. And then after implementing this solution using the template method, I am also going to try to implement it using the solid design principles. And in that I'm going to show what is the alternate solution of template method if we just use solid design principle. So having said that, let's start with this example. So here, first we are going to start with template method example. And as I said, we have a cart and the cart is going to have an implementation for checkout. So we can create public void checkout is our method. And checkout consists of three different steps. First one is validating the item. Second one is executing the payment. And third one is the sending of receipt. The first two steps of the algorithm checkout here, the validate item and the execute payment will have implementation in the cart class itself. Whereas the third method or the third step in the process, which is send received, will be implemented by subclasses for sending received through different mode. For example, sending received through email or sending received through a text message. So first we'll create those methods. So I'll have validate item, execute payment, and thirdly, send receipt. So we're going to go ahead and implement these three method. So we can keep the first two method as private because they doesn't have to be overridden by subclasses. Whereas the send received, we are going to make it as protected and abstract because this is the method which will be implemented by different implementation, an email or a text message based card. And here for these two, we can just do console.writeline and we can say payment executed. That's one. And for here, we can say item validated. And then this class is going to be abstract class. So this is the base abstract class implementation of the template method design pattern, where the send received is the actual template method. And now we can create a couple of classes. Let me just create the class and move it to its own file. So I can create internal class and we can say email card and it implements card and I can just 
move the class into email card and here we have this email card and we can implement the abstract class and here we're just going to have a console dot write line and we can say email sent so that's the email card and similarly we can have another class called internal class and this can be text card and we are going to implement the abstract method here and here we can say for this class we can say text message sent or text sent. very simple implementation so we have this base abstract class which creates this send received as an abstract method which is a template method and then we are going to have an email card and text card each of them will have their own implementation of the algorithm or own implementation of the step part of the algorithm as defined by the template method design pattern and now if you go to program class what we can do is we can say var card is equal to new email card let me add the using statement and then we can say card dot checkout and then we can say var card one is equal to new and here we can have text card and cart onecheckout and now if we run this application we should see first an email will be sent and then a text message will be sent but it will the base implementation will remain same first the item validation payment executed and then email and then item validation payment executed and text so as you can see it is very simple to implement template method and just like all other behavioral design pattern, it allows us to have a better implementation for conditional cases through subclassing instead of using if else condition. Now we are going to implement the same thing in the solid design principle. And I'm going to show how we will do that. So for solid design principle, what we are going to have is inside of the cart. So similar to this implementation inside of the cart, we are going to have a checkout method but here the checkout is going to be a little bit different so the way it will happen is we're going to have a constructor and constructor is going to take three different interfaces right so first one is going to be i item item validator which is responsible for validating item the second interface will be i payment executor which will be responsible for payment execution and the third one will be i received sender which will be responsible for sending receipt and we can create interface in a new file this interface in another new file and then this interface in another new file and then i'm going to declare all these items and then here what we can do is we can say item validator dot validate similarly payment executor dot execute payment and finally receipt sender dot send receipt so these three and let's create these methods inside of each of the interface and then we can go into the interface and then we can implement classes here so we can create public class item validator and we can implement the interface and we can just copy paste the same console dot write line here which is item validated similarly you can go to payment executor and create a public class Element executor and then implement the interface and similarly we can copy paste this console dot right line here and here we'll print out the payment executed just like before and then finally for the email received sender we can have public class we can have email receipt sender that's the first one and here 
here we can just copy paste this line just like the template method implementation and then finally we can have another class called public class and text text receive sender i receive sender and here we, will, we are going to just copy paste this console write line same place and then we can go to the program and i'm going to comment all these things out and then here we can use var card is equal to new card add the namespace solid and then here we need all the three interfaces so first let's create them so var item validator is equal to new item validator var payment executor is equal to new payment executor and then finally we can have var email email received sender equal to new email receive sender and var text is equal to new test receive sender and then first we can create cart we'll find the item validator payment executor and here we'll pass the email receive sender and then we can say cart dot and then finally we can again say card is equal to new card and here we can have text receive center and we can say card dot checkout and now sh we should see the exact same response as we seen before when we implemented using the template method design pattern and you can see it is the exact same response so as you can see First, we can use either we can use the traditional template method design pattern, which is creating an extra class and then putting the process or the algorithm that we want to template out inside of a function and then creating the standard methods and then finally a template method which will be overridden by the subclasses. And then we can create specific subclasses and provide the implementation of the template method. So that's one way of doing it. And then the same concept of template method comes out of box when you implement solid design pattern because here, as you can see, the goal of this template method was to have two different implementation of the send received. And based on what type of object is created, you will have different outcome. Here in solid design principle, we did the same thing. We created a cart. We created three different interfaces and then based on a different implementation of receipt sender, we can have different outcome. This goes to show how we can implement template method and how alternatively the same thing can be achieved, not necessarily the same exact design pattern, but the same outcome can be achieved with solid design principle using single responsibility principle. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and if you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel and thanks so much for watching this video.